What's up guys, it is Trigger here again, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Aether mod. I personally love this mod, it's a really good mod, and I've done an install video on it every time it's been released, and this one might be the best one yet. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. What you want to do is you want to download the link in the description to be given a folder called the Aether AIO. Um, so yeah, all you want to do is you want to make sure you open that with WinRAR, or you can use the built-in uh, extraction thingy from... Uh, Windows 7 program. Uh, RuneWire is just the most popular, so I'm just going to open it up with that. And now uh, we just want to highlight all this and drag and drop it to our desktop. I have a really clean desktop. I recommend having it whenever you install any mods. Uh, but yeah, um, you want to keep this just in case something goes wrong. You can always use this again to uh, reinstall the Aether mod just to make something, just, just in case anything goes wrong. Um, so yeah, now that we have these folders out, we just want to open up our Minecraft here press run now this is just an easier way for people who don't have who don't really know how to get to their percent app data this will help them get there really easy um, so yeah it might seem stupid to do it this way but who cares go to your options and then click the blue wording underneath force update now just click the little X here in Minecraft and minimize it for now and we, all we want to do is we want to open up our bin folder and then we want to click the Minecraft but see how it says executable jar file we want to right click it and open with WinRAR and then we'll open that up so there we go uh, what we want to do now is we want to start by deleting the meta inf if you don't delete it you'll you'll stop loading minecraft right at the end when it boots up so you gotta make sure you delete it or you won't or minecraft won't start up so what you want to do now is open up the Aether folder from the extracted stuff that we got uh, like that um, so yeah we just uh, right click and select all and then we just drag and drop it over. Also, I'm sorry if for some reason my mic mess, messes up because I'm having this problem. I don't know, know why, but every once in a while my mic goes from really good quality down to sounding like I'm talking through my computer. But if that does happen, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyways, you just want to click OK. So it copies over. Because I've already done this like six times and for some reason it just keeps on happening to me. So I guess I'm just having bad luck today. Click you know, we can just close our minecraft.jar and uh, click our .minecraft and all we want to do is drag the resources folder over into our .minecraft press yes and now we are good to go close our .minecraft folder reopen minecraft and uh, just go ahead and click login and now you'll know if it works if you don't get a black screen or if it stops at the end of a loading screen and uh, yeah that's pretty much it we'll wait for it to open and there we go obviously it worked so for some reason, if it doesn't work, please don't leave a negative comment. I will be glad to help you out. Um, send me a message. I'll, I'm very good at s with support. I will be supporting this mod uh, as of today and till the last, from whatever next update. So yeah. So thanks, guys. I'm going to continue uh, resetting all this stuff here. So you have to wait a second. So press done. Done again. Uh, let's go to single player. I'll generate a world and pause it real fast. And as you can see, upon joining Minecraft, if you click your inventory button, you will notice a huge new awesome inventory. That means you've installed the mod correctly, and you will be able to make an Aether portal. If you guys want me to make a video on how to make one, uh, I'll do that. I don't think you really need to know how. If you know the mod, you obviously would know how to make one. But anyways, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please stick around. I will be glad to do more videos. Um, please rate and subscribe. I hope I will see you guys in my future videos. So thanks for watching, guys.